How about an update on our Bielefelder chickens here at Alderman Farms? That's them in the background, and I'm going to talk about them right after this. This is one of our Bielefelder hens, a German breed of chicken. Look how pretty that, that hen is. And she looks, she is as big as she looks in that frame. Nice, heavy set body. Um, these have, you know, at least for now, these have become our favorite chicken. Unfortunately, I think Patty said we had six roosters and, or maybe four roosters and two hens, something like that, out of the, the uh, batch that we bought. So, you know, we got to guard the two hens. <laughs> very closely. Maybe it was six and four. I don't know. I don't do math. And Patty's not here to give me the correct numbers. But is that not a beautiful chicken? Often refer the Billy Felders are often referred to as Uber chicken. And if you're gonna have just one on your homestead, the Billy Felder should be it. And um, I can tell you just with our limited experience so far, they're beautiful birds beautiful and healthy. They're also very docile. Look at this, look at the rooster sitting over there. Doesn't that look like one of those stuffed door stops that your grandmother used to have in her house? Just absolutely beautiful. We, we did have the Delawares and the Midget Whites in here. I'll be filming a video update on them uh, probably also as well today. Um, said that wrong. Also today as well. Um, so the this little small flock of Bielefelders have the run of this big garden area right now. But they're so calm. We we had the uh, we gathered up all the Delaware and the midget whites into the barn stall to catch them. It's an interesting. Uh, different color variations. Uh, that the nearest hen, she looks like she's standing funny, but I think she was just looking at me. Uh, they're all good and healthy, so uh, maybe it's just because she's standing on that slope. Uh, but maybe it's because there were so many in there, uh, so many chickens all together in the stall where we captured them. Uh, the turkeys in there too, but. We just noticed that, I mean, there was a, we accidentally got one or two of the Bielefelders up in there, and they didn't hardly try to get away. And you reached up and uh, reached down and picked them up. They're just very calm. Okay, now I'm looking at that, at that hen again, and I'm, I'm wondering if she might not be standing a little funny, so I may have to check on her. That wasn't the one that was in the barn. I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, well, that would explain maybe why she didn't try to get away too hard if there's if she's not feeling well, but uh, that's that's not her. It was not her that was in the barn. It was one of the darker hens. But anyway, they're doing great. We're hoping that they're probably uh, a month or so, hopefully a month or so at the most, from laying because Patty is anxious to start collecting Bielefelder eggs to put in the incubator for our flock because I can tell you, Patty's crazy about them and she definitely wants to increase their numbers here on Alderman Farms before we begin thinking about selling them. So anyway, there's the Bielefelders. Doing great, looking great. It's our favorite chicken right now at Alderman Farms. How about you? What's your favorite chicken? Let us know in the comments or send us a, an email to chickens at aldermanfarms.net. Do you have any experience with the Billy Felder? What do you think? Uh, we'd love to hear your opinions as well. Well, we appreciate you watching as always. We hope you'll hit the like button if you like this video. Heck, if you don't like it, hit the dislike button because the, the feedback uh, lets us know we need to do some work. And if you hadn't subscribed, we appreciate it if you would because there's more content just like this coming on a fairly regular basis. Thanks again. See you next time.